Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is part three of um, my Shop Miss A extravaganza. So today we're going to review some more products from Shop Miss A. Um, some of them I'm just going to show you first before we get into the makeup section because they are like tool related or hair related or body related products. So <clears throat> this one is, let me take it out. I thought this was very cute since I'm super into their pawpaw blenders. This thing is a silicone holder so that you can put your, it actually says it holds two inside of it if you want. So you could have one for your foundation or like base product or something. You could have one that's dry or, or clean or you could have one that's for other things like blush or bronzer or whatever if you need to touch up but I thought this was cute to pop in my bag and take my little pop pop blender with me just in case I need to kind of blend or touch up throughout the day so very cute right some more of these this is the argan oil brush soap and I got the, sh the um, scent peach first I was literally blown blown away I just did all my brushes I just washed all of them with this stuff and I didn't even go through like half of it. It's still very, like there's still a lot in there. Um, I love the tin it comes into because then you could kind of reuse that tin if you wanted to and do something else with it. Um, but I got a whole bunch more of these to clean my sponges and brushes. I got a strawberry sponge soap. I got um, the peach argan oil brush soap again just because I really liked that and then I got the argan oil brush soap in rose as well so I will be using these to clean my tools from now on they're inexpensive I really like how clean it gets the brushes they're just very clean very um, soft they smell good I was um, while we're talking about cleaning tools though I will say I was very disappointed I um, and maybe it's just that this cleaned it so well that it dried out the bristles a little bit, but I used my 224, and this is an original 224, so it's Real Hair um, by MAC, and it is so prickly now. I used it under my eye, and it was like literally like sandpaper. I was so shocked. So just because a brush is super expensive or Real Hair or whatever, that doesn't mean it's always better because these brushes are synthetic, they clean just fine, and these are so much softer. So, just throwing it out there. Okay, so I did get some body oil, face oil, hair care oil type things. I got their new Nourishing Natural Hair Oil, which I'll be testing out. I already started testing out this one, which is the Peppermint Oil Treatment. Um, on Shop Miss A, they do carry some other brands. This one's by Different Feel. Brand is Different Feel. Um, I really like this though. It, it's pepperminty, um, very moisturizing, so I will continue to use that. And then I'm gonna incorporate these slowly because I have other oils open and I don't wanna open these before I need to, but this is the Nourishing Hair Oil. Um, I think this was like maybe $8. The bottle is huge. It's like 1.7 ounces so this is like a small fragrance size of oil which is crazy this is a one ounce and this is the pure jojoba oil and I love this um, this is my favorite kind of oil to use on my face um, I just find it blends in really well and it helps seal in moisture I did get some of the foot detox patches um, I just got one set to see how they were and I really liked these um, so I got like two packages of 12 of these um, on my reorder because I just really liked how these worked and I, I really like doing these kind of foot patches. This I might use at the end and show you guys but this is the oil, sunflower oil cleansing stick. Um, so you use it to remove makeup. I used to use my MAC mineral, um, mineral uh, essential oil stick to do the same thing so I'm interested in this and I like sunflower oil. Um, so we'll try that later. I did wear these. I'll insert a picture here somewhere um, of these products, but I wore this as a look one day. I put on the red liquid lip. Um, it's called S Scandal. Um, I put on the Color Flush Liquid Blush in Rosewood. 
and I put on the Buttercream Neon Liner in Ambition. So, hi guys. Um, so this video is kind of going to start out a little bit strange because I got my Shop Miss A Part 3 shipment. That's right. You heard correctly. Part 3. Um, and I could not wait. I tore into some things. I... I promised myself that like okay it was like Christmas like you can open one thing and use it right now and try it but you have to save the rest for the video so it's a first impression and like it feels special still well as you can see that didn't happen I started out my day with like a lightweight makeup um, we just went to the grocery store so I just wore some tinted SPF from uh, one's from Mizan and one's from Misha and they're both um, kind of similar but different. Um, really pretty finishes though, I really like these. And of course, you know, I always wanna wear my SPF. And so I popped that on this morning and a little bit of brow gel and some mascara and gloss. And then tonight I decided to pop into my Shop Miss A bag and grab out a few things to try. So I tried the Color Flush Liquid Blush in Rosewood so pretty um just like so stunning went right on top of what i was wearing as well without any problems so love that the liner that i'm wearing is called ambition and it's one of the neon buttercream gel liners um super super pigmented very smooth application it does dry down to a really nice finish um it looks like it would be long wearing and kind of transfer resistant in the right situation i did apply it onto my eye after i had already been wearing some some shadow and i didn't really apply a shadow primer so it did crease a little bit up but not too bad and for how much oil is sitting on my lid i actually put an oil on my lid today so that's why it's up there but I don't think it would be normally so I'm really excited I got a few colors of those to try this is called scandal and it's one of the wonder matte liquid lipsticks these are so nice like literally transfer resistant transfer proof um, oh, shop miss a just has my heart I'm just gonna go ahead and take off my makeup for tonight and I will review the rest in a full face and long wear test um, another day. So, And this is what I'm going to use to prep the skin today. Um, so let's just dive right into the makeup. I'm going to go wet my Wonder Bake sponge. I'm very excited to try this. This is like kind of that, that shape like that baking sponge was a few years ago that came out. I forget which brand did it, but I'm interested to see how this goes. I'm going to wet it and I'm going to use it for foundation and concealer. And then I'm going to use it to um bake some powder into the skin so but before we do that we're gonna prep with the squalane balm so before i wet wet before i wet my sponge let's just try this out so it comes with a little topper which we love oh keeps this oh oh my god i'm s slipping and sliding today okay oh a lot comes off what does it say Instant hydration to the face and body. Apply generously, uh, gen gently apply, generously. Gently apply to dry skin as needed, rub in. To use as a foundation, begin with clean skin, glide balm over your face and the bridge of your nose and blend with fingertips. So that's what we'll do. You know, we like a glowy finish, so. I was thinking this sounded nice. Even if I just wanted to wear this on days where I don't wear makeup, Be careful, it, it comes off a lot, so you kind of have to be careful with your pressure. It does say gently, so maybe I was being a little bit not so gently. Okay, so today I'm gonna be, um, just for, for reference, the sponge did get a little bit bigger. I would say like, maybe about double the size, maybe a little less than double the size, but I wet it. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to wet this, but we'll try it. I'm gonna use my Pro Wear foundation and my AOA Studio liquid concealer today. So let's apply. I'm just gonna do a time lapse of applying these products and putting on some powder. Actually, no. I'm gonna apply these and these alone and then I will be right back. Actually, no. 
I have something that I wanted to use before we use foundation actually on top of this squalane balm. I wanted to use this Glow Baby Liquid Highlighter in Golden Rose. Um, this I think is supposed to be so, somewhat of a dupe product for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I wanted to see how this looks underneath the foundation and concealer as a like a glowy base. So let's do that first and then we'll do a time lapse of the foundation. So let's apply a little bit of this and we'll blend it in with our sponge. The finish, I would say, does look very similar. That is probably a lot. It's probably way too much. Very pretty. Very luminous. 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 <laughs> luminous. Okay, I'm going to apply my foundation and concealer, and I will be right back, and we will apply some other liquid products. Okay, we're back and the base is on. I'm really liking how this is sitting. Um, I will say I love the sponge. I will be, I will keep using this. The one thing that I noticed is right around my nose and under my eyes, I did have to go in with a little concealing brush and just kind of buff everything out and kind of tap because the way that it's square makes kind of like lines as you're blending it, which is kind of interesting. Um, but those lines are kind of hard to get rid of sometimes. So, but what I do like about this sponge is that you don't have to get your fingers dirty. I know that sounds very princess, but you don't have to like, you know, when I hold one of these, I'm going to get my hands a little bit dirty. And this one I didn't get a, dirty at all. So that's a plus. Um, before we bake, let's do a little bit of color flush, liquid blush. And we're going to use the other shade today. Um, the picture that I showed you guys was Rosewood. These are very similar shades, I will say. I would have probably picked different, more different shades, but these both looked pretty to me and they both are really pretty. Um, so let's, let's put on some Pecan Liquid Flush Color, co uh, Color Flush Liquid Blush in Pecan. I'm just gonna, gonna paint it on. I do think these are really cute. They're really small, but they're very cute and they are very pigmented. I'm just gonna take a clean br blush brush and blend this in. I mean, how pretty is that? That is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bake with my airspun powder, and I'm gonna mix in just a little bit of this over the top. This is the Sheen She Glam uh, Light Rose, or Light Pink powder. Okay, let's see how this baking sponge works. Oh, it's really nice. Ooh, that's pretty. What I like about this is it's laying down enough, but not too much, which is kind of cool. And with the edges, you can really kind of sculpt out the features you want to sculpt. It's pretty cool. There's some really cute birds here in New York. so cute. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like a bird singing out there. Okay, let's get into... <clears throat> I got the AOA Studio Eyeshadow in Mother Earth. 
which is really stunning. Um, I got this purposefully thinking it was matte, and it is. It's all matte. Looks beautiful. We're going to play with this today for eyes. I also got two more of the Buttercream Neon Liners in blue and um, shocking yellow. And the yellow is called Disco. The blue is called Optimistic. So we'll see what we're feeling for which one we want to try out with this very, very earthy look. But um, sometimes with an earthy look, it's nice to have like a little pop of color. So um, I have to say I've already tried this, but I'm going to put this in my brows really quick. And I have really been liking it. It's called the Hair Tamer Finishing Wand. And I thought this was for brows um, or eyelashes or something like a face, you know, styling gel for hair. But no, this is for flyaways and stuff. So that's why I was like, why is it peach scented? You get to choose a scent. So I was like, why does it need to be peach scented? It's for my brows. But the scent is really nice. It's not overpowering. It's just like, you know, gentle peach scent, which I like. And the brush is really nice. It's got kind of like spikes at one, longer spikes at one side and then shorter spikes at the other. And so I've just been brushing this through my brows when I don't want to use my brow freeze because sometimes brow freeze comes off a little bit intense um it makes you look like a character kind of to be honest so when I don't want that I just kind of want something a little softer I'll just pop this in really quick I think now is a good time I went ahead and put on in the time lapse my painterly paint pot and I just used my normal brush that I use with it. This brush is actually really good at putting on paint pots. The 270S. It's meant for concealer, but for paint pots, it's like really nice. I'm just going to smooth it out, make sure there's no creases. And we'll give this eyeshadow a good wear test. Okay, so let's play with Mother Earth. Um, this looks so beautiful. This looks like such a beautiful little neutrals palette okay i'm gonna take this little it's just stained don't worry there's no color on here um but i'm gonna take this first shade here okay taking this first shade here from the mother earth palette it does have a little bit of kick up but not too bad Let's see how it does Ooh. oh that's a lot okay kind of dusty Let's start, I think I want to do like a smoky eye with these colors. So let's start with the crease. Ooh, that is a pretty color. It's like warm, peachy, neutral. Even that just by itself, look at how it with my eye color. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it when I can find a color where I could just wear it by itself as a wash like this, and it would be so pretty. Okay, so we love that shade. I'm gonna actually keep with the same brush, and we'll move into this top color. So the middle color is the deeper color, so we're gonna just take the medium color now, and of course you could use this in so many different ways. I'm just showing you the way that I'm doing it today, but you could do this lots of different ways. This shade has a lot less kickback, it seems like, than this bottom shade did, which is kind of weird and interesting, but not bad or good, just interesting and weird. Let's just focus this with the same brush, this outer edge here. Bringing it up through the crease to meet that other shade. Kind of keeping it a little lower though than the other shade was. Yeah. So we, I, yeah, I like that. So we like a buildable shadow. There's nothing wrong with that. It does get, it is kind of doing some weird stuff though. Let's see. Just kind of build it again. Okay. So see how it is there. Let's blend it. Yeah, they blend fine. They just are kind of like a, a soft shadow that you have to blend a little bit, and I don't mind that. 
so now we're working with something like this, which is nice. Let's switch brushes. I'm gonna go in with something even more stubby and defining than this one. This one's a little more floppy and blendy. This one's a little bit more stiff. So I'm gonna go in with this little more stiff sort of brush and the deeper color here, this chocolatey espresso brown. Looks like very neutral, not very warm, not very cool. Cooler than the rest of the shades though. And I'm just gonna put it on the edge of the eye and the crease and drag it over the lash line. It's a pretty color. Okay, so let's take that first brush again. And we'll just blend her out. I will say, these shadows work. This is a great neutrals palette. Um, for a dollar, you, you really like, I don't know how you're gonna beat that. And the pigment's there for sure, but it does have a little bit of trouble blending. Um, if you lit it, like I, excuse me, um, I like to place the shape of a shadow and then blend the edges or blend it out. And this is not how this shadow likes to work. I think if I were, let me take this other brush. I'm gonna take the floppier brush again with the deeper color and just see. Yeah, I was right. So this just likes to, it likes you to blend as you go. It doesn't like to be laid out and then blended. Some shadows are just like that. I don't think it's bad shadow. I don't think this is the best shadow I've ever used. I will say that. <clears throat> hmm. I love the shades, but this, the formula is just not really, it's not giving me life, I will say. I think the look will come together though. I definitely don't see myself reaching for this, especially in the morning when I'm trying to be fast. I don't know if I would reach for this because I feel like it would give me issues. Like, look at this line here. That's from me placing it with this brush first, and it just never, it, they won't blend. This side's better because I went in with the less stiff brush I went in with this brush with the darker color and it actually looks way better but as soon as you blend these shadows they just kind of like either they disappear they become patchy I don't know it's getting worse and worse it's so sad because I loved that first color so much but you guys see what I mean, right? I hope this is gonna pick up for you guys to see. Yeah, it's just not, that is not the tits. It's not the tits, you guys. And to be honest, this eye is looking like it's all one color now. Do you see any definition here or like difference in tone really? Because I don't. I just see all one, one kind of color really. This eye is looking like different colors because it won't blend. Maybe the shadows just aren't it. You know? Damn. Such a, such a shame. Such beautiful colors. Um, but yeah. This is not it, you guys. This is not it. 
Okay, what I feel like I need to do now is I'm going to take um, a different palette that I know that is pigmented and will lay down and I'm just gonna see if I can salvage the look so that we can move on because I think we all just need to move past this. Um, let me use my good old Nikki Tutorials palette because this is always on my desk and it always works. Um, Beauty Bay formula is, it's one of the best actually in my opinion. Um, for this palette anyway, I don't really have a, a whole lot of other ones. Um, let's try and fix this. Let me see how I even will fix this. I'm gonna take Mila first, which is this color down here. It's kind of like somewhat similar to that color we used, the mid-tone shade in here. I'm gonna try and use that shade, Mila, and 5AM and work this into, um, I think let's do a halo eye because we gotta change the shape now. It's just all blown out to be yeah, I, it's just not, this eye specifically is just not looking right. This eye doesn't look bad, it just looks like I used one shadow and just kind of wrapped it and blended it, which is unfortunate because I used three different colors. And you want to see the blend of those three different colors. So let's try Mila. It's so pigmented. Okay, I'm going to take Mila in the inside. We just need to like change the vibe. So I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna do a halo eye. I'm put it on the inside corner. See how rich that is right, right away? On the outside corner. Yeah, even over the top of this shadow, that looks way better. Let's take 5AM, which is a deep espresso neutral brown, or even kind of cool brown, really. Put it in the front, over that Mila shade, and then in the back, just using the same brush. Yeah, instantly that's better. Flat brush. This one's stained, don't, don't bother, don't bother. Um, don't be bothered. <laughs> but I'm gonna take, let's see. Let's take All In. You'd usually use these with my fingers, but let's try it with a brush first. God, these are so beautiful. The shimmers in this palette are like probably my favorite shimmers I've ever played with. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I think that this eye look is actually really pretty now. Um, I was having some pretty major doubts as to whether we would be able to salvage this, but you know what? We did. Much better though, right? It's still having trouble being patchy over on this side. It just never fully recovered in this area here, but if you look at this side, it's way better, the blend. Um, it's just, I would obviously, I wouldn't have laid these down had I known that they were so shit. So I would pass on the AOA eyeshadows. It does seem like their formula needs some help and some work. This doesn't, it's not doing it for me. Um, but. As always, Nikki Tutorials comes in and saves the day. But let's move on. Let's move past the not so great eyeshadow. And let's try this Neon Buttercream Gel Liner and Shadow. You can use these as shadow too, which I find very cool. And this color is called Disco. Nice, vibrant yellow. I'm gonna use a little fine Jeffree Star brush from his Morphe collab and just, let's do some fun liner. And you kinda have to, if you're gonna put this over a shadow like I am, I feel like you kinda gotta have quite a bit on your brush or else it's just gonna not show up. 
pretty cool. Okay, so now that we have that, I am, I, I just like, too curious. I can't help myself. I want to get into this other buttercream liner in the color Optimistic, which is this light sky blue. And I kind of want to try, because gel liner usually is totally fine um, for the waterline. So I kind of want to try this in the waterline. I'm just going to grab a small... Haha! -ha! This little brush is my favorite. Um, it's kind of a weird little brush. It's like stubby and rounded. Um, but this, and it's flat on both sides, this is really good for if you want to take some gel liner or product of any kind, concealer, whatever you like to work with, and put it in your waterline or, um, like, place it anywhere very specific. But I like that this is flat because I can get right into the waterline with it. Ooh, that's cool. We'll see how it wears in the waterline, but so far so good. It's not massively irritating my eye or anything, so cool. Okay, I'm so excited for this part. I have to admit, I did. I cheated. Um, I tried this the other day. I could not help myself. I wanted to see what it was like, and I already know it. I really like it. But I'm going to show you guys what this mascara does. So this is the Elongating Mascara for length. It's lengthening, long wear, buildable, um, flexible lengths. And I would say it is exactly what it says it is. Um, I love the brush. I love how it went on. I love how it makes my lashes look. And I love that it didn't fall at all. No spots, no dots, nothing. So this is what the brush is like. It's um, spiky on all the sides, evenly, pretty much. And it's a little bit thicker at the base than it is at the tip. So it's kind of a Christmas tree style brush. I kind of like these. Um, it is like a silicone wand or like a plastic wand instead of a bristly wand. But I don't mind that because of how this mascara works. So I do like the um, container is very slim. So it allows for almost no air to be inside of it with the... The liquid and the stopper in the inside up here is very um very good at getting all the product the excess product off which i really like as well i i hate it when mascaras um give you too much clumpy juicy stuff all over the brush so really good watch this Look at that, you guys. Is that a wow or what? It's one coat. One dollar. Okay, so we know on this channel, we love a good mascara showdown. So since we already mentioned it, let's do one with this combo here. So this is the, excuse me, my left side is gonna be the AOA length. This side is going to be the Lash Princess um, False Lash Effect, okay? Okay, I will say Lash, Lash Princess gives me, me a little bit more length right off the bat. You can see it kind of goes up a little further. This one isn't quite as much length, but I still love the look of it. Like. However, upon one application, this one is better, for sure. It's worth the extra couple bucks. Um, and I do like, this is a drier formula and this is a more wet formula. So I just wanted to mention that if you like a wetter formula, you might like this better. If you like a drier formula, you might like this better. But I like a lengthening, separating, um, elongating formula. So, but this one, yeah, she doesn't hold a candle. Still a good mascara though. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. Um, and this one will, I will never run out of this. If I ever run out of this, I will panic. Lip product. This is the, this is called Venus. 
Um, I thought this color was really pretty. Literally, to me, this is giving Soar Lip Liner by MAC or Soar Lip Color by MAC. Um, so I was like, well, I know Soar is one of my favorite colors, so let's just try it and see how we go. Um, I did try this um, Scandal color. Scandal, right? Yeah. And this was awesome. Um, very matte, very pretty, very easy to apply, wore like a dream, no transfer. Um, so I'm hoping this will be the same. And I'm just gonna apply it just directly to the lip. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That's the jam. And with liquid lipsticks, if you struggle to apply these, these applicators make it really easy, but I just go from the corners and swoop in and go from the corners and swoop up on the top. And that will give you the best, sorry, there's a little hair stuck on here. I feel like working from the corners in with a liquid lipstick is the best way to get the straighter lines and the more balanced lip shape. Yeah, so that is a really great color. Um, this formula is awesome for a dollar. Like, if you're looking for a new liquid lip, I would say check out what Shop Miss A has to offer. Yeah, super easy to apply, great color. Okay, let's just, um, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of bronzer and blush and highlighter. Um, I don't really have anything new to try in those categories um, from Shop Miss A, so I'm just gonna do that and I'll be back with the finished makeup look, so stay tuned. Okay, you guys, and this is, hold on, I have a hair. This is the finished look. Um, sorry, the sun is deciding to make an appearance, but um, I liked almost everything I tried again today. Sorry, this hair is really bothering me. Gotta get it. I got it. Um, I think that some of my favorite things from today would be the liquid lipstick and the um, color flush blush. Um, again, this is the color Venus, um, and this was the liquid blush we used in the color pecan. Really, really stunning formulas. This is completely like non-transfer. Like it will not come off on anything. Super long wear, very comfortable, very thin, easy to apply, easy to get a really good shape. Um, yeah and then the blushes are just gorgeous um if you like to layer them like i do you can put this underneath something and then put something on top if you like to keep it dewy and keep it soft you can just use this on its own both really good products um i also really liked the baking sponge we used um we all know i'm a big fan of these two products used together make a great skin combo um I think I'll use this some more, but I don't know if I'll use it for foundation and concealer. I think I'm just going to use this as a baking sponge, which is what it's for, so makes sense. Um, loved this Glow Baby Liquid Highlighter. Um, you don't get a lot for the price, and I did put on quite a bit, um, but it's just pretty. It looks really pretty, especially when I paired it with the Squalip, or Squalips, that's what my gloss is called, the Squalane Balm. Um, these two make a really good skin prep for makeup. We'll see how they wear, but um, I think this would be nice on top of makeup as well or mix in with makeup, but I really like it as a primer. And this, the, um, 
what is that? Hair tamer for the brows. Really good. You can see it's not like super sticky or crunchy, but it is held in place. And like I said, I think this has good ingredients for hair, so it probably will help your brows stay healthy and keep on growing and things like that. So I really like this. On days that I don't want to use my brow freeze or I or my brow lift from e.l.f. Um, and I want a softer look, I'll be using this. And we're saving the worst for last. Um, we all know what happened. We all saw it happen with this shadow palette. This um, is not it. I don't know if their other shadows are better and they're like sometimes the shadows that come in minis like this, even with brands like Maybelline and L'Oreal, they can be of a lesser quality than a palette, like a full palette would be from them or a single shadow. So maybe we should test some more out and see just to see if if there are better shadows from Shop Miss A out there, but this was not a good shadow set. Um, I won't be repurchasing anything um, too soon from the eye category as far as eyeshadow goes. Um, but this, so yeah, this is a no, but this is phenomenal um this is the side with this mascara and then this is the side with my normal lash princess i still kind of do prefer the fuller look of the lash princess it's a little longer it's a little bit more dramatic which we know i love but this is an awesome mascara just an everyday lengthening mascara that's not going to fall or get everywhere it's hard to find so especially at a dollar Okay, and that was everything pretty much we tried today. I'm gonna let this wear for a little while, give you guys a little wear test, check in later. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, keep on watching if you wanna see how these products wear and my final, final thoughts from this first impressions. Get ready with me. Shop Miss A part three video. Um, and I will see you all later for that check-in. While we have some sun, I'm just gonna let you guys see how this looks in the natural light, up close, very personal, very all about my pores, but oh, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it, you guys. This is a good day. It's a good skin day, good makeup day. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is my final check-in for my part three Shop Miss A try on first impressions get ready with me review and i'm really liking how everything wore today um as we know the only thing that i wasn't really super impressed with were the eyeshadows and as far as wear goes um the yellow liner was really impressive didn't fade at all the blue too very impressive like it stayed all day um I would say the combination of the glow, um, let me get a few things to, so I can show you one second. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I think the combination of the Squalane Balm um, as a base mixed with this um, Glow Baby Liquid Highlighter in Golden Rose, I think that was too much of a, I think it just caused too much thickness on the skin. I do really like the finish of it, I must say, but I think it's just, I used a little bit too much of this, um, and a little bit too much of this as well. So I just, I think they would be good if you use just less of them. Um, I kind of use this everywhere willy nilly and then I just, I poured way too much, oh, I poured way too much of that on my skin. So I think that's what, why it's kind of like building up and bunching up a little bit, but other than that, everything was really good. We love um, how the brow tamer is. No white flakes, no crusty crusty. It's really nice, but it does keep them in place. It does have hold, and I really like it. The lip in Venus. Um, literally, I ate um, a really oily salad and pizza, and it is much later on in the day than it was when I put it on, so I've, no I've not reapplied it. Um, this is what we have left, and I'm pretty impressed with that. So, these are awesome. I might get more shades of these. I, I wish they had more shades to choose from. Like, 
Um, the shades that they have are pretty limited, but they're really, really good formula and the color is stunning. So the liners were amazing. What else? Um, oh, let's talk about... So we're going to put in a little clip after I get done here of me using this sunflower oil cleanser um, stick. I'm going to use this right before my shower and I'll show you kind of how it works to take off all this makeup. Okay, so as expected, let me try and get in good light here. These did not swatch well. Um, very patchy, very creamy. What's weird is like they're creamy and they're dry. It's like they're creamy and powdery and like dry. I don't know if you'll be able to see the texture that's in there, but it's like when you put your finger in, it's like it's creamy and then you rub it through and there's all this dust, like it's powdery and then it feels dry and it feels like it won't stick to anything. So yeah, I think that that's, I don't know. Like, what is this eyeshadow formula and how do you make it work? Because I could not. So I'm going to jump in the shower and just show you how that oil cleansing stick works to take off long wear makeup. And yeah, um, other than the shadow, I loved everything again. I just am really sad. Like, I wish that I could find some shadow that I love from Shop Miss A because I love Shop Miss A, as you guys have come to know. It's my new obsession. Um, so yeah, comment down below if you know good Shop Miss A shadows that don't behave this way or like maybe are more pigment and like, I don't know. It's like they're smooth, but they're not smooth and they won't blend together on top of each other. It's just bad. They're just bad. I just, I don't know how to make that work. I'm gonna have to try it with like another primer and just see, maybe I was crazy. Maybe I just need to use it in a different way. I don't know. If I can use it successfully, I will try and put it in this video if I haven't already posted it yet. But let's try out the Sunflower Oil Cleansing Stick. Okay guys, let's check out this oil cleansing stick. I do just want to mention, I just swatched those shadows on my hand and you'll be able to see like maybe there's a little stain from the darker one, but it's showing up darker on camera than it actually is. Um, I literally was able to wipe the whole shot, all the shadows off with a Kleenex, a dry Kleenex. Like they completely like wiped clean. So maybe that's part of the problem. Like they won't stick to a surface. They won't stick to each other. They won't stick to your um, skin. I don't know. I don't get it. Very bizarre. Okay. Let's try out this, oh, I'm just gonna shut the door so it can be more intimate. Um, the lighting here is terrible, I'm sorry about that, but let's try out this cleansing stick. I don't think it smells like anything. It's pink. Yeah, literally, it smells like nothing. Let's start with the lips. Oh, this is just like the squalene one that we use to prep, it's very soft. Like, just run it, I think you would just run it over the different areas and it's gonna deposit plenty, probably even, yeah, even more than you would need. It's just like coming apart. Yeah, this is awesome. You can already tell. This is awesome. It's coming right off. Very slippery, balmy, feels very moisturizing. I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse the skin. I'm not gonna apply any cleanser. I will cleanse after this. I always do a double cleanse. But just to show you what this will do by itself to remove makeup, I'm just gonna rinse my face really quickly and I will be right back to show you guys the results. Okay guys, so I just rinsed the skin and I know this looks friggin' crazy. So one thing to note, this is not even, like this doesn't even bother me at all because I always do another cleanse right after I do my oil cleanser. So 
This is just to remove the makeup and to kind of get everything to come off and then that cleanser really gets in there and cleans and you know gets everything up and out so I'm not too worried about this but this is what some cheaper formulas of cleansing balm or oil cleansers do and it's um, kind of like it won't slip away all the way from the skin. There isn't anything in the design of the cosmetic um, chemistry of the product to allow it to actually dissolve in water completely. And so I do still feel it on my skin, like everywhere, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's very, you could still probably like tissue this off if you have dry skin or a sensitive dry skin and uh, you, you would feel nourished and really moisturized and hydrated. There's, you know, pretty good ingredients from what I can tell in this. Um, but I will say it's not like, it's not the best balm cleanser or oil cleanser. I mean, the Jeffree Star Make Me Melt Balm is, it has my heart. Um, immediately the makeup, will, it'll just slide off with water. And I can still feel this on my fingers. Like I did, I was in my mind like I applied too much. I totally applied too much. I did apply too much, but it also is one of those formulas that just doesn't completely slip away from the skin just with water. So I am gonna use my Jeffree Star Strawberry Water Clarifying Cleanser. And I will be right back and I'll show you guys what it looks like after this because I imagine this is going to take everything away and it's going to feel just fine. So I will report back though because um, I was expecting it to kind of slip all the way away from the skin and not be left with this balmy um, kind of texture. But again, it doesn't bother me. I always double cleanse. So, But if that did bother you, I wanted to include that in here. So I'm just going to cleanse really quickly and then I'll stop and I'll come back and report back in. Okay, so I am kind of finding this is a little bit bizarre because this usually, even on days where I'm like lazy and I just want to, I'll just do a double cleanse with this, so I'll use this to take off the makeup layer and then I'll use this one more time to really try, try and get everything off, so I'll just use this cleanser twice to double cleanse. It will take everything off. It'll leave my skin feeling, you know, hydrated, but like there's no residue or anything like that. So I just used this once after using this. So this followed by this. And there are still some places where like, I still, I, I kind of feel like this is still there. Like, which is so interesting. It, it doesn't feel, again, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't feel bad. Um, I just really kind of think that, this, that it's weird that I can still feel this on my skin and on my hands um, right now. So that is one weird thing about this. I don't know if I love it <laughs> that it does this. Um, I mean, my skin feels clean. It just feels like there's something on it, like as if I... Um, have water on my skin but I also like have moisturizer or something or a little bit of oil perhaps um, terrible not bad um, I don't know if it's my favorite though uh, I'll have to keep testing this out and report back but if anybody has tried this has that been your experience like that it kind of um, oh crap I scratched my skin there um, have you had to do that like is it is it on your do you feel it on your skin afterward is that the point Maybe that's the point. Maybe it's nice. Um, it does feel kind of nice. It's not like terrible, but there's, it definitely feels like there's something still on my face. Huh. Well, very strange ending to this video, but um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Become a Bleeding Heart. Become a member of our family here on YouTube. And I will see you all in the next video. Please leave me a comment down below um, if you've tried this um, and had that thing happen or if you know good Shop Miss A eyeshadows that might work better than the ones I tried today and I will see you all on the next video. Thank you for coming. Um, very strange. Very strange today. Interesting.